You guys like baseball? Are you kidding? I love going to the ball game. Well, so do our fans, and they have inundated us with baseball myths to bust. So what have we got? Can a cork bat hit a ball further? And what about whether sliding into base is quicker than running? How about the one, does a dry ball go farther than a humid ball? Exactly. And can you hit a baseball so hard, you knock the hide right off? Sweet. And we have got a real baseball legend to help us out. Who? None other than the Roger Clemens. Roger Clemens? How did we get him? Turns out the Rockets fan of the show. Let's play ball. That's right, it's the Mythbusters and the Mythbusters. He's one of the all-time baseball greats, pitcher Roger Clemens. In a career spanning more than 20 years, the man they call the Rocket has won a World Series and taken out the prestigious Cy Young Award an amazing seven times. He also happens to be a big fan of Mythbusters. And Jamie's stammering with excitement. It's, uh, I, I'm speechless to have the, the Roger Clemens here helping us uh, deal with the, these baseball issues. Later in the show, we'll study the mojo of the throw and answer once and for all the age-old question. Can a baseball really slide and curve? Or is it just an optical illusion? I'm going to try and give it my best out here so you can tell uh, what this baseball actually does with these high-speed cameras. We'll return to Roger later. In the meantime, our first baseball myths a real corker. Man, how great is it to have Roger Clemens helping us do baseball myths? Yep, can't wait to see him do his stuff. Well, our first myth is a total classic, the corked bat. What's a corked bat about? Here's the idea. You drill a hole in the end of a normal regulation Major League Baseball bat, you put some cork in there, you plug it back in with wood, and that bat is all of a sudden able to hit balls a lot farther. Is that legal in baseball? It's ever so slightly totally illegal. Huh. You bet it's illegal. In 2003, the baseball world was rocked when star slugger Sammy Sosa's bat split during a game, exposing a cork core. He claimed it was a practice bat he'd picked up by mistake, but Sosa was immediately ejected from the game and suspended for seven matches. What do you think our general plan is? Well, we get a bunch of bats, figure out how to cork some of them, and see which one will hit a ball further. I think we should remove the human element from this as much as we can. Let's make a, a, a machine that swings the bat at the exact same speed every time. Yeah, and while we're at it, we need to do the same sort of thing with the ball, only we can use a cannon instead of the swinging machine. You know what? I'm thinking that we've already built everything we need to test this myth for previous episodes. We don't need to go out anywhere. It's all right here in the shop. Yeah, a few modifications maybe, but they'll work. Excellent. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a Mythbusters first. No blueprint diagrams, no time-consuming builds. This baseball myth will be totally off the shelf. Carrie Grant and Tori built a sword swinging rig when they were doing sword cutting a sword. That's perfect for swinging a baseball bat. And two, Jamie and I already built an air-powered cannon. That is so wrong. Which is perfect for throwing baseballs at speeds well up to the supersonic range, I think. All right, here we go. I'm flicking the switch. First, a test firing, just to blow away the cobwebs. <laughs> That's a nice download, man. That is fast. Now, a Roger Clemens fastball fizzes towards the batter at between 90 and 100 miles per hour. There we go. But Adam and Jamie will go for a more average fastball speed, about 80 miles an hour. Let's just quickly try 7 PSI. The air pressure required to do that is around 7.5 pounds per square inch. At 7.5 PSI. Here we go. 79 miles per hour. Yeah, close enough. 